Hello everyone, and welcome to the Cotswold Wine School's Tuesday Tip. Summer is practically here, and what better way to celebrate than with Prosecco? Fact, Prosecco is a region in Italy, not a grape variety, though it used to be. The Glera grape is the main ingredient for the sparkling Prosecco we all know and love. Fact, not all sparkling wine from Italy is from nor known as Prosecco. There's Asti, Lambrusco, and one size doesn't fit all. Prosecco comes in various levels of quality, fizz, and style. For starters, there's Prosecco with DOC on the label. This means designation of controlled origin, aka this wine was made from grapes grown in a specific area within the Prosecco region, which are well suited for growing quality grapes and therefore demands a slightly higher price. But well worth it if you're ready to take a step up from something like... <coughs> Above that, there's DOCG, which means designation of controlled origin and guaranteed. This covers areas like Colignano Vado Biedene. This Prosecco is considered superior, much akin to Burgundy's version of Grand Cru. Prosecco from this area is of excellent quality and can even be made using the traditional method instead of the Sharma method, aka bottle fermentation instead of tank fermentation. Another decoding of Prosecco. Ever noticed how some are fizzier than others? This is the classic Frizzante versus Spumante. Frizzante is a lower pressure sparkler and Spumante is full fizz around 3.5 bars or atmospheres, if we're getting technical. A weird and wonderful expression of Italian Prosecco Frizzante would be col fondo. No, that wasn't an Italian pickup line. Col fondo is a natural single fermentation Prosecco made from the glare of grape. Essentially, the pressed juice is put into bottle to have a first fermentation, but the fermentation stops about halfway through due to chilling, or winter, and when it warms up, it's almost like a secondary fermentation. Since this all happens in the same bottle, the bubbles created from the second fermentation are trapped, giving the wine its frizzante fizz. This wine is unfiltered, unfined, vegan, vegetarian, most likely organic, a little cloudy, and bone dry. So, basically awesome. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and please let us know in the comments if there's anything in particular you'd like to see covered. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.